Alright, now so uh, kita akan tengok berapa pula profit kalau the firm charge uniform price for adults and also for children. Okay, so 10.84 times 17.68 minus 5 times 17.68. Okay, so the answer is 103.25. Alright. Okay, sekarang ni kita nak compare. Okay, kita nak compare. Sebab soalan ketiga tanya, should the park practice price discrimination? Which means kita nak compare lah. Profit kalau the firm charge sama je harga untuk adults and adult children. Ataupun the firm charge different different prices for different each group. Ya. Yeah. Maksudnya dekat sini berapa kita dapat tadi um, the profit. Okey, ni. So dengan price discrimination, the profit is 106.25. Without price discrimination, the profit is 103.25. So which one is um more, ya? Yeah. Of course, dengan this price discrimination sebab the objective of the um, apa ni why the firm practice price discrimination adalah untuk dapatkan profit yang banyak so dengan adanya price discrimination the firm are able to earn more profit ok jadinya kita akan bagi ok kita akan bagi um, advice kepada uh, the park owner ok the park owner Ya, yeah, should ataupun the park itself lah should practice price discrimination because the total profit gain with price discrimination is higher yeah, how much just now 106.25 then charge uniform price so kalau you all nak buat perbandingan pun boleh lah yeah? so how much is the difference yeah? the difference of the profit Okay, tolaklah. Uh, 106.25 minus 103.25. So, dalam RM3. Right? So, this is how uh, we answer for this kind of question.